me, baby. I think I want to marry you. You may now kiss the bride. Do you remember this? It was never part of the plan. It was awkward, it was beautiful, and the world loved it. So we asked the great British public to show those royals how it's done. Wait, Carl, is everybody in their sleeping bags? I actually can't believe the number of people who've come down here for this once in a lifetime event. The energy is amazing and you know people are in such high spirits as they bed down for the night. Now William and Kate are the 15th royal couple to get married at Westminster Abbey. The Abbey of course having bittersweet memories for William. He was a page boy here back in 1986 for Fergie's wedding and his mother Princess Diana's funeral service was held there in 1997. We're outside Westminster Abbey. Can you believe it? The wedding is only tomorrow. Some of these folks have been camped out here for two days already. You've come all the way from Australia. Yeah. Are you mad? Yeah. Do by far have the most comfortable <laughs> bed. The bounciest bed, absolutely. If you pop it, though, you're going to have to replace it. Oh. <laughs> but what? I got carrots. You've got carrots? Oh, oh no. I had carrots. Oh. The romance between mortal and vampire soars to a new level. TV Guide Network's big movie premiere, New Moon, starts right now. Welcome back to TV Guide's close look at New Moon. Now, vamping up the big screen and the reason behind Bella's heartache is Edward Cullen, played by real-life heartthrob Robert Pattinson. You had a 40-year-old woman trying to take her off her underwear for you to find? <laughs> That's one of the funniest. Yeah. It just goes to show that this, this, this series is not only for teenage girls. Uh, individually, is it all Team Jacob or is it... It's not Wolfpack. Team Wolfpack. Team Wolfpack. Team Wolfpack. Team Wolfpack. I'm sorry, pardon me. No, hey. we were making it now. It's, it's right. a new thing. I think we have to start Team Volturi, don't we? Oh, see, now that's what the Wolf Boys are saying. Nah. Yeah. Coming to you from the city that stands for stardom, this is Hollywood 411. Hello everyone, I'm Madison Michelle. Welcome to Hollywood 411. And I'm Carl Schmidt, in for Chris Harrison. Welcome back to TV Guide Network's behind the scenes look at the sixth film in the Harry Potter series. Fans of the franchise will be happy to learn that even though only one book remains, there are two more installments heading to the big screen in 2010 and 2011. The fact that he's a knight is incredible. Is that something you would like to be one day? I don't really so, care, no. I, I don't really, no, I, I think I'd feel rather weird. If you want to, if you want to call me, so don't act for the remainder of the year. How about Lord? I think I'll go with Lord, yeah. Let's go with Lord Radcliffe. Oh, God, that's got a ring to it, actually, hasn't it? Look at that. You've obviously grown up a lot. Some uh, publications have called you a lust object. Ah. How do you feel about that, Lord Radcliffe? I never thought I would be lucky enough to have somebody say to me, how do you feel about being a lust object, Lord Radcliffe? I'm Carl Schmidt in London at the royal premiere of Quantum of Solace. Prime edition with all the film's big stars. We are joined with the man himself, Mr. Daniel Craig. This is your second royal premiere as well. How do you think that adds to the excitement of the evening? This seems to be bigger than it was last time, which is, was, is saying something. Dame Judi Dench added her own touch to her ensemble for the night. I notice also a little accessorizing on the back. Can, can I? Yeah. Once again, TV One brings you the latest from another red carpet Australian premiere. Russell Crowe's latest film, Cinderella Man. Any desire to go back to theatre, do more theatre? Um, well, we'll see. You know, you never say never, but, you know, for me, uh, movies was a great escape from the stage. Lakeview Terrace is a thriller about how the American dream can turn into the American nightmare. Samuel L. Jackson stars as a homeowner who doesn't take kindly to the couple that moves in next door and begins harassing them. Why don't they just call the cops? Because he is one of them. Well, it's that time of the year again. The who's who of the Australian television industry are out in force tonight here at the Crown Casino in Melbourne for the 47th annual TV Week Logie Awards. Got to be the Golden Girls. Thank you for being a friend. Come on, man. Who, oh, you want me to try? Yeah, travel down, down the road and, road and back again. Your, your heart is true. You're, you're a pal and a confidant. Thank you for watching our special look at Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. For more info on the movie, visit tvguide.com. And a special thanks to the folks here at the Magic Castle in Hollywood. For Maria Sansone, I'm Carl Schmidt. See you at the movies. Desaparate!